Okay, well here we are at um, Kaitaia Golf Course out in the, actually it's Ahipara, isn't it? And I, don't, I think, can you see in the background there, Tony? We've got the, the sea out in the back here. And um, what I've got today is uh, I want to test something out. See, it works for me and I've seen it working for other people, but I want to prove it myself. And uh, Elaine here, this is Elaine. And uh, the cameraman I've got behind the camera there is Tony. And um, I don't know how this is going to go. It might go really bad. <laughs> But I want to test it for myself before I actually show, um, uh, before I put it out there to other golfers, because I think it's got real potential, and it, it appears like the professional golfers in America are starting to pick it up, as you saw by that little article I gave you. And um, and I think, man, if professional golfers are getting hold of it, um, what could we do? For me, it's helped me. Here's a for instance, okay? We'll get in and help you soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a 10, 10 handicapper, and I haven't played for about a year and a half. And when I'm on a 10 or a 9 or a 10, I need to play a couple of times a week. Would you, you know, most golfers agree, you've got to play a fair bit to keep your handicap down there. Um, and me not being very talented, <laughs> I've really got to keep a lot of practice up, you know. Okay, I'm not talented like a professional golfer. Um, and, uh, and I think that's the difference between professional golfers and us. They're really talented, plus they're dedicated and, and, and all those other things, you know. And they've great, great mental attitude and attitude as well. Now, um, so here I am, come up to Kai Tai here. I've been here a year and a half, and I decided to go and have a game of golf. Now, I really don't expect to play to my handicap. You don't expect to, do you? No, you don't. But I've come across this new technique, and uh, no, and um, I've come across this new technique, and I thought, well, I'll try it. And I surprised myself by only being one away from a handicap at the end of the day, and I thought, well, that's a bit of a, um, that's a bit of a fluke. That's pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. And uh, I come out the next week and I did the same thing again and um, I'll be managing to play pretty close to my handicap. And that's with having, uh, you know, just completely lost the touch around the green, three putting, all that sort of stuff, you know. And um, um, so with a bit of practice and a bit of this new technique, I reckon I could get my handicap down lower than I got it before. Even on this tough course, well, this is a tough course by the way, uh, compared with the course I've been playing on. Okay, so first of all, I think we'll get into it now. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to... Um, Get some questions, ask you some questions, and find more about about you, okay? And then we're going to go and do a little test out here on the green, and then we're going to do this new technique, and you're going to do the same test again, just to see if there's any improvement. That's a, you know, just an objective look at it, just to go, well, is there an improvement in your putting or whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. We haven't got time to go out in the golf course. We'll, we'll try that another time, mate, perhaps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was peeing down this morning, and it, it's puddles all around out here. Um, but now it's come out really fine, and it's really hot and glary, that's why I've got my shades and hat on, okay? So first of all, I'll start with some questions. How long have you played golf? Oh, 30 years? 30 years. I've had a break 10 years in between. Oh yeah, so you've played a few bit of golf. Yes. How long have you played um, these last, consistently over the last few years, two, three, four years? Uh, consistently over the last... 16. Okay. So you're not new at it, right? No. <laughs> 16 years, okay. Um, and I, I was talking to you before and you kind of play more than two games a week. How many games a week do you play? Uh, three. About three Sometimes. games a week? Yeah. Three Sometimes games a week. four. Do you have any practice or do you have not have time? No, just play. Sometimes three or four games a week. That's mm. good practice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's good practice. <laughs> You don't feel guilty about that, spending all the time no, playing golf, you? No, that's all right, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't feel guilty that I don't get to play that? No, never mind. <laughs> have you played um, any really good shots? Uh, yes, I have. Can you think of one? one. That was a good shot. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> Did you hit it nicely or was it one of those ones? It, that was, a, it was actually a perfect one. You, you hit a perfect shot. I hit a perfect one. It yeah. landed right middle the front of the green, right up in the hole. Yeah. yeah. Was it around here? No, over on the sixth. Oh, so it was on this course? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you've had a hole in one. Did that feel good? Yes, it did. That was 23 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of time in between holes in one. I've never had one. <laughs> um, so you can remember a good shot, was that hole in one? Yes. You know when you actually, can you remember actually hitting a ball and watching it fly? Yes, I do. Yeah. And did, did you hit it sweet? I did. Yeah. Um, I had a 
bit of a phobia about that hole because I've been playing it quite badly yeah. for a while. I'm like, oh, this is terrible. And the people I was playing with, yeah. when I hit it, they said, this will be a two. And they couldn't believe it when it went in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they said, oh, you know, it's just amazing. Yeah. It felt good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, would it be true to say that, um, have you played more than one good shot? Have you, can you think of some other shots that have played good? You've played more than one shot. Oh, I've played heaps yeah, of good, heaps shots, of good so. shots, but I mean, I just can't remember any particular yeah. one, no. And, and do you think you've played them like perfectly for you? As best you can, your ability and your technique might have been pretty good to be able to hit it that well? Um, yeah, they were at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. okay. Can you remember any like terrible shots that uh, just really ruined your score? Oh, well, no, he's just probably too many to remember. Because it's the bad shots that ruin the oh, score, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they do, they really do, yeah. Golf's not a game of, uh, it's like the, how many bad shots you play. If you can eliminate mm. a lot of bad shots, it's going to have a better score, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, um, so would it be true to say that when you played those really good shots, your swing must have been technically pretty close to perfect at those particular moments for the shot to go that well? Yes, it would be, yeah. So it is possible for you, technically, to hit a ball well. Okay, so what do you, what do you think happened when you played the bad shots? Probably a bit quick or a bit anxious, yeah. Okay. I didn't want to get a bit further and, um, yeah, you yeah, muck it up. Yeah. Um, if we have the technical ability to hit some really good shots, why can't we do that all the time? Mm, well, I think it's in your mind. I think it's in your mind? Yeah, I'm quite sure it's in your mind. Yeah. Actually, I've got some famous quotes here. It's interesting <laughs> you said that. Famous quotes from famous and not so famous golfers. The mind is your greatest weapon. It's the greatest club in your bag. It's also your Achilles heel. Stephen Alkinton, 1995 PGA champion. This is a good one from the great Bobby Jones. Golf is played mainly in the five and a half inch course, the space between your ears. And uh, here's another one. Golf is all about calm. You don't play golf to relax. You relax to play golf. And that's by Gary Haken, a golf teacher. Mm, I'd agree with it. Yeah, I'd quite agree with most mm. of those too, yeah. I thought, you know, I was trying to think, um, why can't we play good shots all the time? And I think, well, Basically, it's up to three things. It's a poor setup, a mistake on the backswing, or a mistake on the downswing. Mm. That's about it, eh? It's something it in there. Mm. Yeah. And um, so, if you set up well and you make a mistake mm. on the backswing, why? Well, if you're not set up well and then you go too quick back or too quick coming through. And the question is always, why yeah. do I go too quick? Yeah. And then you start cursing yourself, why did I do that for? Mm. Yeah. And then when you try to correct it, you get worse. And then you've got to sit there and think about basics again. And, yeah. yeah. And you're trying to push those nasty mm. shots out of your head and try and insert right. some new mm. ones in it. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to teach you today is not a swing change and it's not hypnosis and it's not a positive affirmations or anything like that, mm -hmm. okay? Um, those things are all great and in fact I had good improvement when I tried positive self-talk myself. So you know, positive self-talk is something like this, you know, you, you walk up to a shot and you, you have the shot and, and, you, and you hit it on the head and it bounces along about three feet and you go, oh you bloody Mm -hmm. you, you, you couldn't hit yourself out of it, you know, you're giving yeah. yourself a really good whipping, eh? Yeah. You know, about the terrible shot you played. Right. So you're teaching your subconscious, you know, you're an idiot, yeah. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So what I did one day is I heard uh, uh, a, a top sports coach say, look, when you do that, when you, when you play those bad shots, try something like this. Um, well, and it goes like, um, what's it go like? Well, that's not like you, Martin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's not mm. like you. You're better than that, you know. Mm. And and so what you're saying, instead of saying, you know, you're terrible, you're hopeless, and you, you're just going to keep doing it, aren't you? But if you say that's not like you, you're given the opportunity to go, yeah, I'm better than that. What you're trying to do is you've got all these um, poor shots stored away in your subconscious. Maybe you could hear the bad shot three years ago. And that's all stored there. I mean, mm. probably shots 30 years ago are still stored in there, and the fear, oh, I might... Uh, slice it into that tree or well, there's that lake that I went into once you know watch here. out for that bunker in front of that <laughs> green you know and they're all there you mm. know they're all there and they're stored in your subconscious and what you're trying to do with positive affirmations or positive self-talk is drown them out but it doesn't get rid of them no. and they're there niggling at you and that's the tension that we're going to get cause that fast swing you were talking about or the tightness mm. that you tighten that putter a little bit tighter and you know what happens when you do that it doesn't go far enough eh? you tighten up because the flow is gone isn't it yeah. you're on number one number one green say up here and you've you managed to make it past the 
you know everybody watching you on number one. <laughs> you get on number on, on number one T off, I should say, and then you get on number mm. one green, and um, and and you're about oh, 20 feet from the pin or something. And you're feeling quite confident, you know, because you had a great day the day before, your last game a couple of days ago, and you're putting really well, and you remember the last putt going in or something like that. And so you're, you're confident, and you stroke that putt really good, you know, mm -hmm. and you watch it, and it goes straight for the hole, and it just turns off a bit and goes past. And then you notice that it's going quite fast, and it's going way past the hole. They've blimmin' mowed the, the, the greens, and they're faster, or it's been dry or something like that. And now you're that far past, you miss your putt coming back, and you end up three putting. Damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's starting to ruin your yeah. score. What's going to happen when you get to the next green? The memory of that one there, you're going to tighten up a bit. Wonder how fast this one is. Now you've got some doubts coming in, and you putt, you're just a little bit cautious, just be a little bit cautious, and it stops. It's going right for the hole, but it stops short of the hole. Mm -hmm. And now you've got this blimmin' thing that's going <laughs> to nag you and gnaw at you all day, and it's yeah. going to ruin your putting, and it ruins your fun as well, yeah. Not so much your score, you know, it's going to ruin your mm. score but uh, it's going to ruin your fun as well. We're going to go out here if it's okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going, to, we're going to have 20 putts, and you're going to warm up and use your putter, and, and I'm going to, we're going to video camera as well. And you're going to hit five putts from that location, and five putts from that location, and, you know, from four different locations. And I've got a little test. You see, what we're going to do is, um, is before, if you get it in a hole in one, I'll be marking ace, you know, see how many aces you get. And if, you, if it's a good putt, we'll call it under 50 centimetres, you know, half a metre. And if it's a fair putt, it's between 50 centimetres and 100 centimetres. And a poor putt's longer than that, away from the hole, you know. So we're going to see, and we're going to score that. Then we're going to do this technique on camera, so everyone can see how it works. <laughs> and I'll get you to do it out there, perhaps. And, um, and then we'll do it again, and just see if there's a difference. Just an objective look at it.